Hey, what's going on guys? Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me on Patreon, the link is in the description below, where you guys can get Discord benefits and YouTube benefits, along with the Discord link is in the description below if you guys want to join Freaking Empire V3. Thank you so much, and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys and girls? My name is Fusion Terror, and we're back again today with another video on how to code your own Discord bot. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a command. Today's command is going to be a verification command or verify command. So that basically when people join your server they have to use the command to verify to get a certain role in your server this role is going to be based off an id that you have in your server not every server when you create a role has an id so i'm going to show you guys how to get that and we're going to make the bot give it to the user when they type the command so without any further ado let's hop into the video we're going to start by going into spirit bot folder on our desktop and opening up the cmd.bat and then we're going to go cd and then into our project folder our name is spirit bot so we're going to go spirit dash bot and then hit enter here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a new command. Now verification can be a moderation command, I guess, or tool command. I don't think we have a tool folder. Yeah, because we have moderation information fun. We can do tools. So we can do slappy here. Generate command, enter the name of the command, verify, and we say tool. The tool command? Now we can do code space dot here, and this will open it up in Visual Studio Code. We're gonna go to our source folder and then into our commands folder here, and then go to our tool folder and go to our verify command. And we're gonna make this async to start off with. Next thing we're going to do is remove a message.channel.sync so we're not going to be sending a message to this channel. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do an if statement here and we're going to say if there is no permissions for the bot to manage roles then the bot doesn't have permission to do it so then we got to return a message. So we got to say if it doesn't have permission to manage underscore roles then we're just going to do a return message dot channel dot send and we're gonna return saying um i require and then we'll do something like this manage underscore roles and we'll do permission Now what we can do is get a variable here so we can get a const and this is going to be the role you want to give so we're going to give the verify um, or we can just say in general this is the role because we don't have multiple roles so we're just dealing with a role and we're going to do message dot guild dot roles dot cash dot get and then we're going to open this up and in a string here we're going to paste the id over in the discord server here we're going to make a role ourselves here uh, so we're going to make the new verify role so verified we'll go with verified role and we'll make it green just to say that but make sure that the bots role in this case spirit bot is above the role you want to move around with the other people now we're going to get the id so we right click and click copy id over in discord here we're going to paste the id now we're going to do await message.member dot roles dot add we're gonna open this up here and then we're gonna add in role dot id dot catch then we open this up and we're gonna catch error equal sign open this up console dot log error so it's gonna log to see if there's an error there when we give them the v role now that we're done with that we can go up to file go save all and go to terminal new terminal and we can do npm run dev it's going to start node mon here and as you guys can see our bot's about to go online as well so spirit's bot spirit bot's online over in discord here spirit bot is now online what we can do is we can do dash verify and it should give me the role as you guys can see here the verified role was given to me without an issue now just to prove i had I didn't give it to myself before. So I've got my admin instead because that staff member is offline, but I have another admin for my server links. We've used him in the past, I believe. When he's here, he's gonna use the verify command to get himself the role. I'm gonna say use the new 
command and then we'll say dash verify as you guys can see he doesn't have the role right now and he's typing and boom it gave him the role right there at the time of recording, I forgot to make an outro, but if you guys enjoyed this video, slap the like button, hit subscribe with post notifications so you guys never miss an upload in the series. Road to 3k before uh, 2020, I hope, so hit the subscribe button, it'll be much appreciated. If you guys want to support me, Patreon link down in the description below. Discord's also linked in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much to Morgan, Profake Model, and Zane for being my mythical warriors on Patreon and supporting me. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.